Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 3 Remake, Part 6. Here we go. Right. As Carlos, last time we have met Dr. Nathaniel Bard on a laptop in the West office on the third floor with Tyrell. And now as Joe, we defeated the Nemesis Phase 2 and, and he got infected. And now Carlos took Joe to the hospital. And now we're gonna play as Carlos to find a vaccine for Joe. Here we go. Don't like ammo. Hmm. Give me a vaccine, buddy. I have to do the right thing. And I have Tyrell, to stay out, I have to stay out of trouble. Gotta be oh. the lab in the back. Stay frosty. I'll go on ahead. Go ahead, Carlos. First aid spray. Assault rifle ammo. Door's locked. So let's go over there. Okay. So we're gonna be fighting some zombies now. Spencer Memorial Campus. Let's get that first. Welcome to the Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City Health Care, the storefront of its time. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of the medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and basic completion wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that both change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Yeah. Okay. A healthy family is a happy family. Right. Alright. Keep the zombies in the way. That was a possum playing zombie. That one is too. Okay. That's cool. I don't got time for this. More annoying. Zombies over there. Oh, guys! Zombies, don't mess with me. Haha. <laughs> it worked. Only Joe can use the lockpick. Oh. Hmm. Only Joe could use that. So for now, we stay focused. A player. A player for the audio cassette tapes. You have to put a tape in for it to work. 
Nurses Journal, September 29, 25. Every day, they, they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. They said actors don't stop their delirium, so we have to put in their straitjackets and move them to the isolation room. The problem is, the isolation room is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with the symptoms we have started. So what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary team. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. I'm not sure I buy it. Moran is saw some guys wheeling bo a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What is going on? Oh. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? <laughs> Whoa. What is, is there in the lab reception? More annoying zombies over there. Try to chop their legs off, bro. Okay. Come on, you stupid zombies, die. Let's knife them just in case. There we go. Whoa! Holy shit! Stupid zombie. How'd you give me a jump scare? Get out of the way, Carlos! Shut up. Shutting your leg is necessary. Of course. That's a lot of blood. Seriously, that's a lot of blood. Uh, needs a card. <sighs> of course this needs a card. Mm-hmm. Door locked from the other side. Okay. Oh crap! Why did somebody put a zombie, a headless zombie, over there? That's crazy. New formula, Spencer Memorial Hospital. You will be treated in a comfortable environment. Mm. Wow, out of the frying pan. Right? What does that mean? It's a figure speech. Okay, shoot that corpse over there. Well, it's not really a corpse, it's a zombie playing possum. That possum playing zombie is really getting on my nerves. Let's slash him. There we go. No zombies ever gonna scare the crap out of me. Oh. Okay. Let's go up there. To the records room. Handgun ammo. Nurses Journal, September 27. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe necrosis 
fever, muttering delirium, and signs of, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection. Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Asked again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. He has disinfected the wing, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete in anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It is all on deck now. Gotta, gotta contain this chaos. A green herb. Now we can combine it. What's this? More ammo. To the staff room. Oh great. Annoying zombies. And another nurse's journal. We tried. I swear to god we did. But there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who are infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst feeling imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and we're all left with the, with now is the moaning of the dead and the sound screams in our heart. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry I killed you. Something's coming. Help me. Help me. Wow. That's just Messed up crazy. Assault rifle ammo. Yes. There we go. There we go. Now let's go in there. Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our security measures, all employees must store their ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Administration, September 20th. Lost locker room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to, may have dropped, to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to, mo to borrow it. Administration, September 24th. Oh, you need the key. Oh, of course, you need the key. Okay. Door's locked from the other side as well. Gotta find that key, that key. Wonder where it is. Tactical grip assault. For the CQBR assault rifle, it greatly reduced its recoil and gave each, each shot a more stable trajectory. Cool. Got a key. Ta-da. A key. And there's an herb. Well, let's just discard that first aid spray. We don't need it. More assault rifle ammo. Hmm. Oh crap. 
wrong way. Carlos, head up there. Number one, head upstairs. Number two, our items are my items are full, literally. Crap. Okay. Oh crap! What was that? What was that I saw? Ah, uh, that's better. Look, nurse's station. Zombie's gonna annoy you? Yep. Oh crap. Here they come. Whoa. Combination is going to be right now. Ta da! What do we have here? Dual magazine for the assault rifle. A custom part for the CQBR assault rifle allows the use of two magazines at once for a maximum capacity of 64 rounds. Sweet! Awesome! Whoa! Zombies. Now they're gonna piss me off. Stupid punk ass zombie. You don't scare me, you fuckers. From the language. Come on. Why aren't you going down? Let's test out that upgraded assault rifle for now. Here we go. Yeah, they're already dead now. Okay, sick room. Thought it was a zombie. That's a zombie right there. Great. Okay. Mixed herbs, they restore, two of them restore a medium amount of health, so, yeah. Mm. You know what, I should probably go back. I should probably go back after using that key. Go back to the staff room, Carlos. <laughs> okay. Okay. Key, it's seen a lot of use. Use it. Now discard that key. Alright. Okay. Mm. This heartburn's killing me right now. What have we here? You know what? 
I don't need any hate spray right now, but it's okay. Flashbang grenades. What's this? Whoa! How does a zombie get in there? Hospital ID card. Secure card for the Spencer Memorial Memorial Hospital. Okay, after getting that card, something bad is gonna happen if we go out of the staff room. Whoa. Whoa! Hunters! Hunters Beta! Well, th these guys. Whoa. Roar! Well, these guys are gonna be very annoying. They're gonna, they're gonna slash you, and when they slash you close enough, they will slash your neck and you die instantly. Better watch out. Watch out, Carlos. The only, the only way to kill them is by blasting to their heads, or use acid rounds. If you got them. Jesus Christ. Wow. I know, right? Things are freaking annoying. I hate the hunters. Let's hope no hunters piss you off. Whatever here. Hospital map. Haha. -ha. I needed that map. Thanks. I needed that. Let's hope no hunters scare me. I've seen these hunters from the from Resident Evil and Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica. I've seen these guys before. They're really annoying enemies. But not only are they annoying, but they can really hurt. And they're fast and they evade so easily. Why would they evade so fast? Okay, use that card. Beep. To the to the treatment room. No. Whoa. We got some hunters over there. Two of them. Whoa. Shoot the zombie. Hit him in the back. Keep going. Uh, okay, that's enough. Oops. Well, let's use that grenade. Let's see if the hunter handles that grenade, shall we? Oh, crap! Another one! I didn't think there was another zombie in there. Serves you right. Okay. Unlock that door from the other side right now. Hand a grenade at these stupid zombies. Whoa, crap! Whoa. That was close. That took that takes two of the zombies all at once. The hunters, that is. Assault rifle ammo. Audio cassette tape. You could listen to this if you had a tape player. Find it to this. It's la tape is labeled Dr. B recording for HR is inside. Whoa. Mm hmm. If 
I were you, Carlos, I would watch out. I'd watch out for these hunters. These instant death hunters. Their slash really make me mad. I would be mad if a hunter kills me. Oh man. Assault rifle ammo. Oh crap, another hunter. Fuck away from me. Sorry. Oh no, not this time. No, 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 don't kill me. Aim for the head. Got it. Great idea, Carlos. At least aim for their heads, man. Right. The operating room. Of course, gotta get to the operating room. There's a Charlie bobblehead over there. cares to the emergency entrance Carlos and there's gonna be more zombies breaking the glass yes I knew it here we go Ha! Ah, perfect shot. Nope. Seriously. Why aren't your heads blowing up? It's gotta be a critical hit, right? Those are called headshots, right? Okay, use that card. Now remove that. Anything in there? Already lost items. To all employees, you've been in, in you in you in undated with reports of lost items. If you see something, if you find something and it's unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit it in the nurse station safe. The safe combination is nine clockwise, three counterclockwise. Thank you for your cooperation. Clockwise means left. Counterclockwise is right. Gotta remember that. So. More. Wow. Cool. That's cool. More ammo. More handgun ammo. Okay. And more. can't use it when your health is full. No, no, no. Oh, the sounds of the zombies. Don't even like them. Here they come. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan-changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects oh. beyond your comprehension. 
so stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? What an argument. No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Too much information, Doctor. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word <laughs> to anyone. Wow. Why so rude? Assault rifle. Now we're gonna be fighting some punk ass zombies over there. Oh, look, Dr. Bard, been shot. Good grief. Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit, and the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? Okay. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Oh, Chief Brian Irons from from the second Resident Evil game, and the one who kidnapped Sherry, and he got killed by Dr. Birkin, the mutated version of Dr. Birkin, until a G, a G virus embryo jumped out of his chest. It's pretty messed up. Thursday, September 10, 1998 to 6, 6 o'clock p.m. The Orient Restaurant is the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you join us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note, Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We booked a suite for the, un for the, un the usual after party. You're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Uh, okay. Not good. Okay. okay. Get there. Combine it. I don't need that. Tape okay, player. More ammo. Come on. Oh great. Email from Dr. Nathaniel Bard to Greg Tester. Reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. The virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will watch over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend of me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of vaccine for the virus. The Holy Grail. And it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get the, get me the hell out of here now. It's an umbrella finally out. Lead on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without the UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which should sound pretty chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time's running out. Nate. Not Nathan Spencer from Bio Commando. By, by, from Bionic Commando, that is. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. The T-Virus. The ones from Resident Evil 1. It was infected all over the all over the Ark Clay Mansion. Oh. 
oh, in Resident Evil Zero, the bad guy, Dr. James Marcus, had the T-Virus all over him. And, the, and he became the Leech Queen. And he infected the train. And, and, the, and the mansion as well. Oh, okay. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Umbrella Corporation engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... To do what? Oh, Nikolai must have shot him. That was before he shot him on the lap. Oh. Okay, after I saw Dr. Nathaniel Bard, he was shot by Nikolai. After the laptop message. Oh, Carlos. Got you knew all along. And she trusted me anyway. Well, I saying, yeah, he did. She did trust you, man. He just falcon punched to the computer. Now let's go in there. Here? Yeah, that's right. Vaccine sample. A vaccine which can cure a victim of the T virus. There's just enough vaccine inside for one person. Oh, we don't need the red herb. Of course not. But, give the vaccine a gel. Okay, we gotta give the vaccine a gel. Yeah, hang tight. Hey, Taro. They can make a big cure for all the viruses. That would be awesome, and they won't have to make any more viruses. They need to have cures for all diseases, don't you think, Carlos? Oh. Okay. Oh crap! There's a hunter jumped out of the ceiling! Out of the glass ceiling! Ow! Crap, I hate the hunters. They're worse than annoying! Whoa, you're still alive? Really, you just have to scratch the floor? Take that, you stupid hunters! Man, these hunters are so stupid and annoying! I literally hate those hunters. No. Is there anything over there? All I see is Magnum, right? I can't tell if it's Magnum or not. We'll have to find out. Go to the reception. Oh crap! Another zombie? Seriously, there's another zombie over there? You gotta be serious, man. Well, he's dead already. Nothing personal. Okay, personally, I gotta go over there and, gonna be okay. and give Jill the vaccine. Then we're gonna have a wave of enemies. Well, 
UFO. Wow. She's cured. Come on. This shit better work. Yeah, it better work. Uh oh. Is Jill having a nightmare or something? Uh oh. Tyrell. Tyrell. What the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city has been dis Emergency been Alert System, September thirtieth, nineteen ninety eight. That's right. Capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Of course not. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, a lot of Are zombies. I got this. Better Let's hope Carlos is right. Get the first aid spray from now on. But first of all, let's put up our items in there. Well, let's just keep the two first aid spray just in case. You have this grenade. Doesn't matter now. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The left entry point's the better. How do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Uh oh. Better keep the zombies off of off of him in the meantime. Here we go. We're gonna have a wave of annoying zombies. Oh crap! A detonator. Okay. A detonator with C4 now explosion. We have to fight a horde of annoying zombies over there. And there's gonna be some generators over there. Shock those annoying bastards. Get the fuck out of my way, man. God. Oh my god, there's like a fully messed up waves of annoying zombies. I mean, ever since I'm the Resident Evil mercenaries, we fight. I fought to fight a lot of enemies in the game before timer runs out, so that I could beat the high score. Die! Die, you annoying zombies! Whoa! Did they just blow up? Did their bodies just blow up? Seriously. This, this makes no sense. Why do their bodies begin to disintegrate? Oh, crap. Crap, there's another one right there. Where exactly do these zombies come from? Okay, you can't shoot through the windows. That's ridiculous. You can't shoot through the windows. Oh crap. If they breach the room, you fail the mission. No! No, you don't! You stupid zombies. Oh, great. As I was saying, better not let it reach through Tyrell, because if it happens... Mission will fail. Whoa. Blow up these annoying zombies, Carlos. Come on! Die, you annoying bastards! Oh, great. Blackout. 
Must be somewhere, bro. Whoa! Holy shit! Hunters! Ha! Uh, die, you stupid hunters! Hurry up, Carlos. There's not much time left. Crap! A zombie? Seriously? Come on. Hurry up, man! Hip pouch! Oh, yeah! Jackpot! Get the hell out of my way, you, you zombie bitch! What are you doing? Don't you dare knock that stuff out, you... Stop it! You stay away from there! And fuck off! Sorry. I'm seriously under caution right now. Not this time, buddy. Oh. This is not an easy. Ouch. It ain't easy. Gonna have to... Gonna have to fight a horde of annoying zombies. Well, you almost got it, so... Fair. You close after Tyrell, you fail. No, not this time, buddy. Stupid zombies. Oh, a shot to the head would be necessary. Would it? Get off me! Stay away from me, you annoying zombies! I leave that barricade alone if I were you. Whoa. Lucky shot. Get off me, you bastard. Where'd you come from, zombie piece of crap? Oh, crap. A parasite over there. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Oh my... Oh no, hunters! You have got to be freaking kidding me, man! Great! Not this time, you punk! It's a close call. No, it's not! Ah, not me, you annoying piece of crap! Stupid sons of bitches! Good. Got some more ammo. Lucky. You don't scare me, bitch. I'm tough. Tough as nails. Literally. Whoa! Zombies breaking out of the doors. Not much choice. You gotta place the detonator. Get out of my way, you fucking freak. Stay out of my way, you bastard. Sorry, my language. Quick. There's a chance. Hold off until the explosion. Get out of my way, you stupid, annoying bastard. Quit it. Man, I only have one aid spray left. This is not funny. It's going to be annoying. Oh, well, another one. Seriously, there's another one? Good gravy. How many zombies could there be? How annoying can, the, can, they, can that possibly be? Seriously, get out of the way. Out of the freaking way. Here we go! Yes! Did it! Did it! Kaboom! <laughs> yes! Yes! That'll show them. Not even close. But at least 
It's over. Yeah. I'm coming back. Good. Oh man. That seems a real deal. Exactly, Tyrell. Tyrell. You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Where are you going, man? Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found the cure. You stall for time. Uh oh. <laughs> wow. We made it. Fought against these annoying hunters and zombies. Oh, great. Is Jill having a nightmare? Oh, my God. Please tell me she's not having a nightmare. Jill. Oh, thank God you're okay. Carlos. I got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. No, it isn't. Holy shit. Is he infected? Whoa! Holy crap! Well, he's infected. You don't have a choice. Uh oh. Oh! Oh shit! Sorry. Oh. Huh. Guess Jill just woke up. What's going on? Hmm. That wound on her arm. Attention all that, citizens. The missile strike on the nemesis did will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Can't be. This is not a test. Oh, man. If you don't make it on October 1st, you would, you would be toast, Jill. Gotta leave the sick room. October 1 at midnight at 1203 Spencer Memorial Hospital. Cool. I'm back. Back to normal. <laughs> I'm totally back to normal now. What the heck? Okay. Oh, look, what's this? Handgun, burst mode. Three round burst feature. Oh, this does a lot of damage. Let's just switch the gun for now. So that we can make room. Let's just test it out. Add this to the shortcut. Shall we? Nice! Three round! Morning, sunshine. You see hey, Taro? I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. <laughs> he carried you here and he it is you Carlos. Himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? Crazy bastard. underground. <laughs> <laughs> large stockpile the vaccine enough to give this it's a lot of blood he thinks he can do this by himself i'm going after him wait did you see the broadcast they're gonna blow the city sky high i'm trying to get a hold of someone anyone with the clearance to stop it leave this mess to him he's a professional so am i exactly i guess i'm not talking you out of this Storage facility of course not, bro. Beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos. So expect trouble. Okay. 
Oh, look, a crate. Handgun. Probably get the handgun ammo. Let's go back to the room. Okay. Alright, let's keep moving. Just keep moving, Jill. Jill is one awesome character. For sure. Let's go over there. Oh. Those are the zombies that Carlos beat the crap out of. Hmm. What's in there? Mag ammo. Magnum. <laughs> cool. You know what? Combine. Da <laughs> Let's go up there. Is there anything over there? Who cares? Explosive fee. Of course. You know what? Discard that. Let's hold on to the Magnum Animals just in case. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! The hunters! Seriously hate the hunters. The hunters just came out of nowhere. Gotta use those lockpicks. Got more explosive rounds. Of course. Oh, let's see. Can't believe it came out of nowhere, literally. Alright. There's another hunter over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. To the staff room. Oh, to the wreckers room, so we can store our items. All right, that's more like a chill. Staff room, simple lock. And then we can. What's this? A hunter. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. That's great. More shotgun shells. Of course. The linen room. Next, the linen room. What the shit? Sorry. How many of these zombies are there? Of 
Cool. Okay, let's go over there. I think I can squeeze by. Yeah, you could. You probably could. Great. Crazy, annoying zombie. I'll cast zombies. High grade, high grade gunpowder. Mix two of them and you'll get Magnum. What? That's great. So yeah. Here we go. Keep moving, Jill. I hope there's no enemies nearby. Oh. Just blew them up. No. Scar that. Nice. Magnum ammo. It's another magnum. The treatment room. It's where I beat the hell out of these hunters. Are there any more of the items there? You get flame rounds. So, yeah, there. I don't need the landmines anymore. Now go back to the records room. Probably go back to the records room and store our items. Jill. That's good. Okay. Let's see here. Explosive rounds. Yes! Perfect! Acid rounds. Better use those just in case we fight those annoying hunters. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. To a dead end and jump out of the window. And then what we got here is a point forty four AE Lightning Hawk revolver. To give you a headache. <laughs> cool. Seriously awesome. It's one of the most powerful weapons in the game. I'm sure the magnums would help. All right. A 
Right? Once, once I get out of that hospital, I'll have to call it quits. Acid rounds, ammo for a grenade launcher. The capsule breaks on impact, soaking the surrounding area with acid. It'll sizzle on you. Wow. No oh, wrong way. There it is. There it is. Ouch. Nope. No. What, what do you think I'm doing? Great. Nope. Oh, okay. That's the way. Oh crap! Hunters! Whoa! Get away from me, you annoying hunter! Oh shit! Whoa! Acid rounds really did the trick! <laughs> exactly! Acid! Working. That did the trick on these annoying hunters. Okay. I don't need the lockpick anymore. Okay. Made it out alive. And powder. That's all. Nothing else. Oh, this must be the way underground. Yeah, the way underground. Okay. Then we're gonna be fighting up against new annoying enemies. Oh no. Who's that up there? Oh look, it's a lot of umbrella. The lift lever. Man. Man, this is so cool. Crazy.
All right. There it is. Typewriter. And another hip pouch. Cool. Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads and it overloads and causes abuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm and gather fuses from the sub generators situated around the warehouse and use those to restore power from the main generators as quickly as possible. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Now then. If I can use the high grade gunpowder, two of them, this is what I'll what it does. Haha! -ha, it works! Okay, now we can end this for now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Gabriel Gaming 5000K saying, I will see you next time, guys.